Good morning. It's the day of my birthday. Happy birthday to me. In reality, it's a Thursday. I didn't take the day off, so I'm working from home. But I thought we could just chill. I woke up early to enjoy my coffee, get my day started, journal. And I just want to fill my birthday with things that make me happy. Please ignore the disaster that it is. But this is the reality of what the work week looks like. I just come home and I throw things. And then I just pet my kitty cat. Hello, sir. You are the first thing that makes me happy. So say hi, everybody. There's nothing like a coffee that doesn't need to be rushed. I know you know what I'm saying. <gasps> Look at the little Robin. Oh my God, he's so fat, how cute. Oh, so cute. worked out a very long time ago. It has been like hours. It's now 4.15. I wanted to do like a bunch of nice stuff for myself, but you know, I am a working gal and today just kind of got a little absurd in terms of my workload and I don't know what happened, but like every day, you know, the day just like flew by and it's kind of just like, well, what did I do for myself? Absolutely nothing. Except I did do a 30 minute workout. I haven't done a 30 minute workout in a really long time. I'm trying to like slowly but surely get into my workouts again. I look crazy. There's like a bird nest on my head and I need to wash my hair today. I don't know if you've noticed, but my hair has kind of turned a little red. So I don't know, but I'm hoping that if I wash it, it'll be a little less red. Did I even show you guys the picture that I showed my hairstylist? I don't know. Let's do that first. I showed her this picture of Rosie Huntington. I feel like I'm remembering that I showed you this. Do you see this picture? I showed this to her and she was like, wow, that is so much darker than what you are. She somehow made me even darker than that. She was like, we should do that, but we should go a little lighter. I think that I'm even darker than Rosie in this picture. But again, I don't know if you've gotten your hair colored, at least I've noticed a lot of times when I get it done after I wash it a couple times, it kind of just lightens up and the color changes. So TBD, I guess like a couple of vlogs from now, we will see the true color. I have like ADD today or like ADHD. I'm having trouble focusing and I'm also like my brain is going at 35,000 miles a minute and I'm also very tired. I finished Jackie Collins, the Hollywood Housewives book that my aunt gave me. She found it in her closet when she was cleaning out her closet. In the end, I'm so glad that I read it. It was like a really, really good book. It was slow to start. Like I said, there were so many characters in it that, you know, like when they introduce so many characters and you don't know their names yet and you kind of have to go back to be like, who the hell is Neil? Like who's Neil? I don't remember Neil. So in the beginning it was a little difficult and then she kept like towards the middle when I thought the worlds were gonna collide because without giving too much of it away, basically it's about Hollywood housewives and their lives with their husbands and it's just like scandalous affairs, stuff like that, which it's juicy. It's like, it's, it's like a reality TV show, okay? And then there's like a serial killer in the mix which I'm not gonna tell you, but in the middle of the book, I was like, okay, I'm understanding where this is going. I know where the serial killer comes into play with this whole thing. And then as I thought it was coming to that, she introduced more characters. And then I was kind of like, come on. And in the end, it was so good. I love how it all played out. And it was like a lot of like surprises that I didn't see coming. And I honestly feel like when I was reading it, I was like, damn, I should have known that that was happening. But Jackie had me fooled. I finished this on March 31st. I made a commitment that every single month I'm gonna read one book. So I needed to finish this before April 1. So I did, I finished it the night before. I saw my aunt over the weekend and I was like, wow, it was a really good book, I feel like it would make a really good movie. And then I Googled it and there was actually a, a mini series on this book, except I can't find it anywhere. I might be able to find it on YouTube, but I saw that you couldn't stream it anywhere. So I'm very interested in watching that. And a lot of very famous people are in it. If you saw the mini series, was it good? 
Is it worth tracking down? I feel like I might have to track it down. And now I'm back to my Kindle. And if given the option, guys, my Kindle case is so disgusting. Please ignore her. I love like a real book so much more. It's not as practical because I finish a book and sometimes I do reread books. I have reread quite a few books, but they kind of just take up space. And this is so much easier to like travel with. And I, it doesn't take up multiple spaces because every book that I read is just on here. So I'm back on my Kindle. I'm not happy about it because I've been really enjoying like a legit book. My husband recommended a book to me. And a lot of you guys have recommended books to me. I really want to read that summer book that someone recommended to me. One of my subscribers that I talk to all the time. I don't remember, but I have it saved in my Amazon store so I can load it onto my Kindle. But it's something about the summer. So I think I want to read that more in the summer. I just feel like to get in the summer mood, maybe that'll be like my May or my June book. My husband recommended a book to me. It's called Husbands. Let me see if I can find it. I also like don't know how to work my Kindle. I'm so terrible. It just came out on April 2nd. It's called Husbands. I'll put a picture of it here. I'll read you the little synopsis. When Lauren returns home to her flat in London late one night, she's greeted at the door by her husband, Michael. There's only one problem. She's not married. She's never seen this man before in her life, but according to her friends, her much improved decor and the photos on her her phone they've been together for years as Lauren tries to puzzle out how she could be married to someone she can't remember meeting Michael goes to the attic to change a light bulb and abruptly disappears in his place a new man emerges and a new slightly altered life reforms around her realizing that her attic is creating an infinite supply of husbands Lauren confronts the question if swapping lives is as easy as changing a light bulb how do you know you've taken the right path when do you stop trying to do better and start actually living that last line felt very like Carrie Bradshaw-esque to me and it sold me. In terms of my birthday, I got a lot of really lovely cards. My grandma gave me a really, really sweet card that, I don't know, it was just like so nice. Look at this freaking card that my Aunt Debbie got me. Happy wishes from every birdie. If you know, you know, I love birds. And I just thought this was so cute. I love this. I kind of want to frame it because I'm so weird and I just, I love birds. And then guys, I'm so excited because if anyone is going to reap the benefits of my birthday gifts, it is you. Okay. Okay, because Michael bought me this DJI camera. Look at this camera right now. Are we shocked? Are we in awe? So basically this is a camera, this little thing. That little camera is recording you. There's my face, Inception. You could see that it's like a little camera. And I love this because I feel like you know, in a recent vlog, I was vlogging from my um, car and everyone was like staring at me when they walked by. I feel like this is very inconspicuous and I feel like this will be great for all of the travel that Mike and I have coming up. So I'm so excited. He also got me two other gifts, which I'm not gonna mention because they are experiences and you are going to experience them with me. And I kind of want them to be a surprise for you guys as well, because I love surprises. I really do. I love surprises. I'm excited for this year. I'm hoping that it's gonna be a good one. And I don't know, Mike told me that it's my Jesus year. You know, I, I mean, is this a good thing though? Jesus was crucified when he was 33, which maybe that's, we can make that like symbolic of like me gaining a new life, like a new outlook on life. I don't, you know, I just, apparently it's my Jesus year and Jesus take the wheel. Mike is going to make me dinner. He kept asking me what I want, but I just, I have decision fatigue. I am shot to shit this week, I'm so tired. So he told me that he's gonna surprise me. So he went to ShopRite to buy me food. He asked me if I want a cake. I don't want a cake because I'm trying so desperately to eat healthy, especially before we go to Napa. Yes. Are you saying happy birthday to me? Wow, this looks so nice. How romantic. Get yourself a hot husband who could cook. So go in the fridge uh -huh. and get out the bottle of wine. Wow, those look good. What kind of, did you do white? Wow, what a wino you are. Yes, we'll be there next week. How romantic. Cheers, Cheers. happy birthday. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. That wine's good. Shady Brook What is that? Oh, it's delicious. It's the last one. Is it? We need to stock up. We'll buy more next. We're going on Friday. What a time. I feel like a bowl of clams to myself is fitting. A bowl of clams to yourself as well. Is fitting. This is like the perfect birthday plate. Yum. He's a dessert chef too. I'm a little drunk and I haven't even finished that class. <laughs> A candle for me? Happy 
Happy oh birthday my God! How cute! You. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear fortune. What a singer! Happy birthday to you. Wow! Thanks, babe. A laundry list of wishes. I can see that. Are you gonna help me decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping from all of my clothing orders? All right, where do we start? We got a lot of clothes, a lot of things. This is cute, but I shouldn't have gotten it in an extra small. I feel like this is too small. I feel like she's like a lady who lunches though and plays tennis. Do I look like a lady who lunches and plays tennis? Also too small. I feel like this is too small. I don't know though. But I feel like it was sold out in the small, which is why I got the extra small. Babe, what about this? Too wide on the boobs. Too wide below the boobs. Too wide below the back. I think, yeah, I feel you on that. This was final sale and I can't return it. We don't like it. It's very big. I don't know. I'm not really liking anything, honestly. I like the color. Maybe you could shrink it. I feel like maybe if it's ironed, will it look less big? Does that make sense? Probably not. Like, can we style it? Help me here. I don't know. But I can't return it, so it is what it is. It's not terrible. I feel like it's not terrible. Mike thinks it's terrible. Yes. Do you like it? I don't think he likes it. <laughs> Why don't you show them your tuxedo? And there's Brogan in his tuxedo. Say hi. No. Camera shot. Here, go back. Well, get off my clothes. I have to return them, please. Excuse me. This isn't going very well. <laughs> Yes. Um, no. How do we feel about this? Oh, I feel like I look like a balloon in this. You don't like it either. He doesn't like it either. Sorry. Babe. What about this? It's all made well. Can I help you? Oh. I don't think this is any better. Do I look like a mechanic in this? Clothes, it's a no, it's a no for us dog. It's a no for us dog. I feel, yeah. I feel like everything just looks really like wide on me. No. Babe. <laughs> uh, no. What about this babe? This is the bigger size. I feel like could this just be good to have? Like to throw on in case it gets a little chill? Chill chill? I really want to like this. I kind of like do like this. I don't know. But it's a little large. It's a jacket. <laughs> it's a jacket though. No. Okay. All right. Fine. Oh, a fail. It's cute though the shape. No, just not on me, I guess. Okay, I'm going on record and saying I think that if you are petite this this ain't the brand for you this is really cute just not on me we're mixing it up with this one i don't know i love this but oh my god i'm a little suffocating in the belt area is it a po oh, it pockets no yes this is cute babe napa 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 you don't like it. He doesn't like anything. Oh my god, I love this. I like the top. I feel very like fancy in it. I feel like I just need a glass of wine in a vineyard somewhere and I look really bougie. Look at my figure. I can't I can't sit though. You know, if it looks good, beauty is pain, they say. And sometimes I agree. Most of the time I don't. Let's try one on for you now. Let's try this little frilly thing on for you. I feel like you'll like this. I feel like I'm going to churn butter. Churn butter. Can't talk. I feel like you're gonna like this though. Oh, he likes it. Wow, surprise. We all knew he was gonna like it. I just don't really like the top. It's like this part that's a little in here. It's cute though. Okay, well, I guess if he likes it, I'll wear it. I'm stuck, like in this. I can't get out. Oh. No, I really can't get out. So. <laughs> I thought 
the super ones out more and it doesn't. Super cute. Aside from the fact that I don't know how you get in and out of it. What do you think about it? No? Okay, we just needed a little styling moment. Yeah, I like this. What bag am I gonna bring though? That's the biggest question. This is the favorite thus far. It's a little tight on my arms. But I like this. Don't mind my socks, my Amazon socks that I love. This is cute though. I think I like it with my brown hair too. She's a pasty. I mean, honestly, my legs almost match my socks, which is okay, like whatever, it is what it is. I, we, you know, we try to love ourselves the best that we can, but I feel like I need a little color here. Oh my, she needs color. Granted, let me get my Napa hat, but like all of these clothes will look exponentially better when paired with a handbag, cute shoes, and my hat, sunglasses. So if you wanna see me style all these things, stay tuned for my Napa vlog, but this was just simply to try things on so that I can throw them in my suitcase. Yeah, like this is the vibe. This is the vibe. It, it, we take, see, it takes it to another level. Like that. You like this? Yeah. Yay. I agree oh. on the tanning. He agrees on the tanning of my legs, right? I told everyone the story of me on the elliptical and what you said about me. With my hat? Yeah. My Napa hat? What bag do you think I should bring? This is gonna be a problem. Yeah, I like the YSL, but I, like if it rains, like you said, it's not supposed to rain though. It's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to just be cloudy. And I feel like I love this bag, but it's not really, the green one doesn't really go as well. Does it go with this though? I mean, it's a little off. I feel like I can't bring this one. And then this one will go with everything, but this is too small. How am I gonna put my, if I wanna bring my new camera, does she fit in here? Like barely. Problematic. Systematic. It could be grease lightning. That fits. I think this is the answer. How do I pack her? Thoughts? I don't know. My closet is such a mess. It is so cluttered and it is giving me so much anxiety. I just feel like everything is a mess. Mike and I ran around all weekend. We really didn't have any time like home and it shows because it just looks like a tornado came through the house. But I told you guys that I would share with you the little something something that I bought myself when I went to the Short Hills Mall. I told you that I would show you in my last vlog, but I ended up not being able to pick it up the following weekend. So here it is. I'm excited. Actually, I'm so excited. And this is just who I am as a person when it comes to jewelry. I feel like it's meant to be lived in. And I feel like it's so much so that it's not even in the box, guys. It's already on my finger. Like, I picked it up. Mike and I picked it up today after brunch. We had brunch for my birthday. It was so much fun. I didn't vlog any of it. Mike and I were so late. I was so upset. Um, I was late anyway, but like when we left, we were gonna be like eight minutes late and then we ended up being like 22 minutes late because we got rerouted. But anyway, I digress. Um, here's my ring. I love it. And Mike said the second that we went to pick it up, he was like, you know, it looks like my initial ring that you have, this one right here, mixed with my wedding band. It's literally the same like rope. He actually created his wedding band based off of this David Ehrman, the cable. But so now I have it in a pinky ring. And I also feel like we need to switch up my gold jewelry, which we will do that together because now that I have trips coming up, I feel like spring, summer, I want my gold jewelry back. So this is the ring. I'm so excited. Literally the woman was like, try it on. Cause I didn't even get, they didn't have my size. So I couldn't try it on. So when I picked it up, the saleswoman was like, does it fit? And I was like, oh my God, yes, it fits. And she's like, okay, do you want me to box it up for you? Or do you just want to wear it out? And I was like, wear it out and my husband thinks i'm crazy because my husband is someone that keeps such care of his belongings and like i do to an extent but like i want to wear them and use them because I, yeah, I mean they're for me this is a box and we're doing this together because even though the ring is on my finger i didn't um i didn't even look at this packaging she literally handed me the bag and i left with the ring on my finger but this is cute nice packaging i really like this this is super nice. 
also comes with this nice leather case. I love a leather case. Is this magnetic? Oh my god, yeah, that's nice. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know. I will link the ring down below because I did just get it. It's brand new. And happy birthday to me. I just have to say, I love everyone so much. My brunch today was so nice. It was so sweet of everyone to come. I had a really nice time. It's just like, you know, ever since losing my dad, birthdays are rough, but I feel like my family makes it more of a mission to spend more time together. And I think it's nice that we're now getting together for everyone's birthday and like doing something. Whereas I feel like we always kind of did, but it just feels more like planning or planning to do it rather than like scrambling to do it. Does that make sense? At least I'm trying to plan because I just feel like there's a lot going on. But anywho, speaking of my birthday, one more time, I want to show you what my mom bought me. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. And I don't know where to put her. My mom said she looks like me because I literally wear, I wear glasses every day to the office. But look at her tail. I don't know. Where do I put this though? Like a part of me wants to put it in here. Will his tail fit in here? Yeah. That's kind of cute. Mm. Let me play around. To everyone who wished me a happy birthday and spent my birthday with me. And for those of you who are just like currently watching. Thank you so much. I had a lovely weekend. Honestly, I gotta say. It was like one of the best birthdays that I've had in a long time. I just was so happy and my husband was so cute and dinner was so romantic. So, and I also just won at Wordle. What a good week it was. What a good week. I feel really blessed, honestly. Even though I'm still an anxious, psychotic person sometimes, I just need to let go. But that's something that I need to actually work on. But thank you guys so much. I love all of you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for wishing me a happy birthday. I will show you tidbits of the rest of our night, but I'm gonna love you and leave you here. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed this video, think about subscribing. Um, but I just really hope to see you again, regardless, and to talk to you in the comments. So bye guys. Mwah.